Hi friends! So today I'm going to talk about a serious controversial topic. Decorating for Christmas on November 1st. <gasps> Shock scandal. Um, many people find themselves pulling out the Christmas de decorations right after Halloween is over. And you just take the Halloween decorations down and you put the Christmas decorations up. This can be very tempting and like you're very excited like I understand like Christmas is great um, um, but here's some reasons like that you may not want to do that um, and I'm not judging anyone because like I feel the same way sometimes I'm just like so excited I'm like what's the next thing like you know like it's hard to not get excited the first thing is the present moment I think a lot of us can, like, live in the past or live in the future and not the present moment. The present moment is a gift. It's called the present moment because it's a gift. There's a religious sister who actually refers to it as the sacrament of the present moment, which I think is really cool. And I read something talking about how, like, God finds you in the present moment and, like, in, like, your suffering and, like, his mercy is in the present moment. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, there's, like, so much in the present moment that God has for you, he wants to give to you. Just so many things that, like, you could be missing if you are just focused on the next thing. So, like, Christmas is great, but, like, oh my gosh, like, all the trees where I live, they're all, like, turning, like, all different colors. And, like, it's probably a better foliage than we've had in a while. Um... And if I was like, oh, I want it to snow, and I all these things, snow is great, but, like, right now I have leaves, you know? So that's good. Um, and, like, it can be hard to focus on those things because we just want to move on to the next thing. Another thing is you are where you are for a reason. I think sometimes we can be like, oh, I just want to be to the next thing. I just want to be in college. I just want to be married. I just want to, like have my career, just have it all, like, done, and we don't want to be stressed, um, but you are where you are for a reason, and you're called to love who you're called to love for a reason in this season of your life, um, right now, and kind of going off of that, but there's some people you can only reach right now, like, you've crossed paths with them once, or maybe in a span of months, or in a span of a couple of years, and this is the only time that you can make a difference. Like, this is your opportunity. But if you're so, so preoccupied with the future, you might miss out on what you're supposed to do right now. And what if you're doing what you're supposed to do right now, then it leads you to what you're supposed to do later, if that makes any sense. Um, look at my page. Also... Many of us, like, don't anticipate Christmas. It's not Christmas we're wanting. It's, like, past happiness. Like, nostalgia. Like, past Christmas is when you were seven and it was, like, the most magical. Um, and it's, like, so familiar and safe. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. But, like, sometimes you're not even, like, you're, like, it's, like, kind of, like, about how you feel. Um, finally, it's okay to be excited and festive and anticipate things. Like, I'm the most... If you ask my friends, I'm a really excited person, like, all the time. Like, it can be overwhelming to some people how excited I am. So I totally understand, like, anticipating stuff. Um, and that, God does tell us to be ready. He tells us, like, like, don't fall asleep. Like, it's, so, like, God tells us to be ready. But you can't be so caught up in the future that you miss where you're meant to be right now. And, like, who you're meant to love. And what you do now, if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, will lead you to what you're supposed to be doing later. So you don't need to worry. You still need to put in work. But, like, if you're putting in the work, then don't worry. Okay? Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye!